boy, you have to show everyone how much you love lipstick. Don't you love it? It's your favorite thing. It's his favorite thing in the whole world. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bailey. You're welcome. In the past, I have already tried the originals and that is the Superstay Matte Inks from Maybelline. And bitch, I have the shade extension and I'm so freaking excited to put these on my lips. I do have all 10 from the shade extension and I think I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest. I love this formula of lipstick. It's one of, no, it is my favorite formula of a matte liquid lipstick that is out there. And what I mean by that is this is from the new shade. So my original, this one is in the shade Pioneer. It's like the Maybelline's worn off. This, I've given this a run for its money. This is the red lip that I put on all the time. It's the only red lip I wear. I love the formula. It doesn't bleed. It doesn't get gross in the corners of my mouth. It stays all day. I don't have to touch it up. This is just, this is where it's at. So we're going to try out these lipsticks, see the pigmentation, see the opacity of them. We're just going to see what's up, see how the colors look on me. So maybe you'll want to go, what is in my hair? A fluff. Maybe you'll want to go pick some up. So let's get them on my lips. Oh, I'm so excited. I will also mention, I always get questions like what I do in between the shades that I put on. I'll always remove the lipstick with some sort of wipe and some makeup remover. Today I'm going to be using the Body Shop Chamomile. This is the Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I don't know if I've actually used this before, maybe like a couple times, but dug it out of my drawer and then I always either put concealer or some sort of powder foundation on and today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay because that's on brand. Anywho, let's get this off. So I actually just put them in number order <laughs> and it actually goes from darkest to lightest so that's how I'm going to put them on just so it's easier for you guys so if you're shopping you know what I'm putting on my lips. So let's start with the blue. So first up, this is shade 105 Explorer. Okay. Okay, so I am into this alien vibe. What is this called, Explorer? Yeah, this is a vibe. Do you remember what I used to wear like all these fun, like when Too Faced had that green lipstick. Mm, I miss those days. This is kind of reading like in real life a little bit more indigo. Maybe that's how it's reading on camera. I'm not sure. I really like this. I feel like I needed to like kind of mix this a little bit though. These have been sitting for a while. I was sent these a bit ago and they've just been sitting in my closet. Story of my life. Anyway, I feel like with the stars on my eyes, it's like a full, it's a full moment and a full look. This is going to be fun, um, removing that. Next up, we have a beautiful purple, and it is in the shade Originator number 110. I also love how these smell. Ugh, Maybelline, you just, you just did it right with these, you know? I tell everyone, I'm like, never mind all of this other stuff, just go get the Maybelline Superstays. All right, here we go. This is this is an eggplant if I ever saw one. I really like this. I feel like this is very like 2016 Bailey. Like when she was vibing out with all of her like deep purple moments, you know? It's like really reminding me of like Max Cyber. Oh God, that was a moment too. Ooh, in like 2013. Wow, we're just reminiscing today, aren't we? What do you guys think? I feel like I'll always like a dark lip on me, like no matter what. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> So that was 110 Originator. So here we have the shade Composer. I've actually wore this one and I love it. Okay, there's Composer. That is so pretty to me. Like when I got this collection, this lipstick, I was like, oh honey, this is so beautiful. You know that image on Pinterest that would always float around like around the fall where it's like that ox blood, like deep rich burgundy. That's literally what this color is. It's, it's everything. 
it's everything i know there's gonna be a shine on these lipsticks that's because they need like a second to dry once they do dry though you could like kiss your entire body and it is not coming off that's another reason why i love these is because they don't transfer like you can make out with this and like maybe like a little would get on your like man but like not a lot you know what i'm saying Fourth up, we have the shade 115 Founder. This looks nice too. Oh, I can't. Okay, let's get this on, yeah. Okay, so I might be biased. I don't know why I'm biased. This is so pretty. It's like. <sighs> It's like the most raspberry raspberry lipstick I've ever seen in my life. And I'm digging this. This shade is so beautiful and like unique and like this is really nice. I Hello, honey. Yes. Okay, sure. I want to wear this to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's over. I'm going to wear this to Christmas. That's so pretty. Next up, we have the shade 117 groundbreaker hi <laughs> okay so all of these lipsticks are like so like on point for like the fall and holiday season i feel like this is gorgeous I'm not like the most into like orange tones, but I feel like this is such like a burnt, it's like a burnt red almost is how I feel like I would describe it. Since, you know, I'm like a color theorist. Sure. Anyway, I love this. I remember I told this story in like one lip swatch video, I'm pretty sure, but this color reminds me um, when my dad was gonna buy this truck, like it was when the Avalanche's first launch, like I was in grade six and uh, he wanted leather seats and the only one available like around us i guess was this burnt orange color and this is what it reminds me of thank god we didn't get that we ended up getting a red one because one became available or i don't know anyway <laughs> this is that color and like i hated it back then but, like i love it as a lipstick anyway it's just a nice little story We are halfway done and now we have the shade 118 Dancer. This is a very dancer color, isn't it? All right, there's Dancer, it's all over my teeth. This is very pretty, it's like a candy apple red and I feel like when I was little, all of those years of dance class got jazz, tap, ballet, all of it. I feel like this is what I wore on stage. So I feel like the <laughs> the name dancer is very appropriate. That or it's just like a very like 90s red color. It's, it's one of the two. <laughs> Next up, I like the name of this one. It's 120 Artist. It's just a nice pink. Let's put this on. Okay, there is artist. My application kind of got away from me on this side, so I'm tilting my head this way for you. This is a beautiful magenta shade. Has anyone ever seen that video of that girl talking about primary colors, but how it's actually like cyan, yellow, and like magenta or something, and it's not actually blue, yellow, and red? It's like, it's crazy. Like literally just type in, I don't, I can link it down below, but just literally type in primary colors, and it's this girl with this red hair. She will blow your mind anyway this is a beautiful shade oh hi i feel i feel nice in this shade usually i don't like pinks but i feel like it's dark enough that it's like kind of cute thank you now my loves we are going to be trying one more lipstick and this is called 125 inspire inspire Inspire. Okay. Okay, 
this is such a cute pink i love this pink i will be wearing this pink i actually might even wear this pink on saturday to be completely honest with you it's not crazy it doesn't read yellow it's like it's super flattering i mean maybe not with this like super bronzy look but i feel like if i did like a nice like you know moment oh my god See, pinks are growing on me. What is this one called? 125 and Inspire? Inspire. -er. Inspire. Okay. I will not lie to you. This shade is called 130 Self Starter. okay the reason i have wore this already because like look at it this is gorgeous i don't even know how to describe this it's like a bricked coral almost like it's just like you name the color and i feel like this is it it's just so pretty i love this and i feel like i just love how muted it is and it's not too intense and i just feel like it's very i love this i feel like on camera it looks a little bit orangier-ish than it is in real life oh my god i freaking love this lipstick it's 130 self-starter now last but not least we have the shade 135 globe trotter let's put it on okay now this is a burnt orange if I ever did see one. Never mind about what I've said before, this is it. It's like almost like, no, you know, I quite like this. I really do. Like for fall, this is so pretty. Is it technically still fall until like December something? I literally have no idea. Anyway, this is dope. I'm actually gonna keep this lipstick on. I wasn't sure about this one, but I like it. What is this called? 135 Globe Trotter. I hate that name. Can I name some lipsticks? I just want to name them like the weirdest things. <laughs> okay, maybe don't give me that responsibility. We've all seen my cat's name, so maybe I maybe I don't need to name things. <laughs> well, that is all 10 of the shade extensions of these. They also had the unnudes or whatever they're called, the nudie, what, uh, unnude, 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 whatever. Whatever, I don't know. I have these ones though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like this lipstick. Let me know what your guys' favorite shade was. Do you want to know what mine was? <laughs> it's this one, Self Starter 130. I just love this. I really do love this. And I think I really like that cranberry one too. That's gorgeous. Which one is this? 115 Founder. Honey, gorgeous. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh my god, do you like my lipstick? It looks like your nose. Yeah, it does, my boy. Oh, you're so cute. Look at this. Boy, you have to show everyone how much you love lipstick. Okay, well, me and boy are gonna go. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. He's so sleepy. <laughs>